All right, we are back. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that, exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular barrel of piped. <laughs> a rectangle of what? I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, as usual, my son. Student. Uh, yes, that's what I said. I take it back, you don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, and then we'll get to building. So, all clean? Uh, yep, almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk. I could make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. I'll need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great treasure, huh? Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. Okay, we got the pin. Uh, I'll just and get the book from the thicket. just have the one brave guy. Oh, that startled me. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. I don't believe we met yet. How did you end up here? Uh, with my feetsies? Burbling boy, uh, burbling bear noises. Good! Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I got the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm just yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie? I have something for her. Oh, that's just a... That's a, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? 
Oliver, the bus person, he gave me a letter for you. Oh, Oli, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe you found it. Oli, you weasel, where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though, I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license, and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put the stations for his buses and everything. I thought this was burned up in a fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Here, you can have this. I'll help you find your way back faster. up here. Back already, Bob? Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Yes, I did. Affirming bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear. Sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. He found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, trying all of this out with her was the most fun I've ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake, and look, this is where we are. Oh, and you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you the bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Look, the first one is right here next to the shed. How about it?
Did you get the bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. Approving bear noise. That's great news, bud. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of those stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. I don't know how to get down there. <laughs> Seems like we are blocked off. Can't go that way. And can't go that way. All right, we'll give up for now. Were you able to find everything? Took a while, but here you go. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. Yeah, won't take long. Just like new. Actually, pretty fantastic. Pretty gifted little guy. <laughs> Is 
Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. Never thought I'd say this. Lagoria? Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although, there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. sniffling all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber and then we made a bed for humans and, and where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we didn't find any of that, just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Pink. Yes. Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Where have you been, my goodness gracious? Are you all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. All right. Good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. You put him up to the skin, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. Humans are coming back. And another thing. What? And we're helping. Let's see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and... And I get to make stuff for them! Me! Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta go check on our humans. All right, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time, in case it rains. Now get some rest. Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax. It's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash talking associate. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. That was weird.
You could be a nice table. Oh, who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. Wow, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. That's all right. You're not the first critter I met around these parts. Don't be afraid. Uh, who are you? Questioning buried noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? Uh, I lived here all my life. Bird noises. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although... Lately, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? Built it with my own two paws. Confident, bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh-oh. Ten o'clock, chief. What a surprise. A hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? There is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need to know basis. All right, Anton. Need to know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ah, what place? That place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all of your, these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back up to the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We last waited at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs, and I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. 
You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here, if you get us weighed back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around here if I were you. I wonder if there's limits <laughs> to what I can pick up. If there's no limits, I'm picking it all up. Ponies construction service, no available instructions. I'm sure the guy who's stuck up in the swamp is fine, right? While I do this. Let's head up. <laughs> Oh, not this again, I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the tree. Uh, no, I was just looking. As I hate to break it to you, all trees make noise. Pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here, happy eight hour. happy hour ain't what it used to be? He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small. How small are we talking? As small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh, gosh, no, it's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately. Come inside. Inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Ah, uh, here we go. 
And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. And then what happened? We got a piece and scrammed. And what was it like? The thing? Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than one hour? It's just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. What? It stank, too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig, what did I say about la... Uh, what it... Twig, what did I say about liaising? Liaising? Liaising. Liaising. Twig, what did I say about liaising with a criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one, at that. Wade, are you Wade? Hello? I mean, no I'm not. Uh, yes, he is. A festering, nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you're not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find them anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Bring me back a few, and I'll see about jailbreaking your new frown friend. That what I asked for? A dozen dil uh, a dozen lilies, like you said. One, um, two, ah, uh, yeah, looks right. Good, this better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking them back in a jar. And paying double. Thanks for helping us, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Shush, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am? Scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. Central traversing the muddy waters around here. Alright, now that we've fixed that up.
I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit lost. Uh. Ah. There we go. And you're not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. The first rule of garbiology uh, is the cream always rises to the top. So make sure you dig deep down deep. There's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton the bus, uh, Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least, according to Anton. What a strange bunch. I always say I've had enough of him, but then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out in the wild goose chases? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. I guess we can go back. I we need to. We'll come back and grab more stuffs. More of the stuffs. Always making sure your property is up to Pond Voyage's uncompromising standards. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations! You met the absolute bare minimum requirements of uh, being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about a bleak future, let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pond network, find your local pond shark and just press the green button. Welcome to the Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location. Also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following tasks. Complete the stay for another two plus guests in Timber Crossing. Uh, reward a cool new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Er. Task in progress, please return once the job is complete.
great, lovely experience and a great host. We'll be booking in advance for my next trip. Confused in that. Um, why can't I bring in more gas? The amount of gas requests you get each day. That's eight. We'll go find the shark. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Yes, you said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains, the desa desiccated desert. Sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish dude around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads. This is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in the otherwise barren realm. There's a literal shop across the road. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off of a tent and trail mix. They require the best am amenities. They require the best amenities, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium, which is now the, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Welcome to the Roadside Motel. Would you like to repair it? Yeah. Yep. Step one, clear out any debris and grab uh, the garbage inside the structure. Step. Is the debris, uh, is the structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yep. Good job, this is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. Have all the materials been acquired? Yep, they're all there. Step three, get your butt to work. How's the construction site going? It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly not yet probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over! I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. 
book a guest to the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. only. I just wanted to check to make sure that uh, I didn't have any other recipes for beds. Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They are in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Because of our premium uh, desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting who. That's right. Water. Mutual exploitation is mutual and exploit is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for uh, Patreon excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? I use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Lucky guess.
Oh, I don't have the money. All right. Yeah, absolutely. We're broke. We're broke. How do I make some money? I'm gonna guess by having guests stay. So let's go to the other location and see if I can book a customer. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Thank you guys so much for keeping me company. I will be back soon.